Today I will show you how to make this messy pixel effect. Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. So the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl Alt Y to make a new adjustment layer. And now you will need to download this free plugin called Displacer Pro. Uh, if you don't have it, then it's just a must. You really need it because it's free. And then you will just need to go to effects and presets and type Displacer Pro and add it. This effect is just basically messing around with a lot of settings that are right here. The most important settings are X and Y and of course you can mess around with these a lot i i will mess around here a lot as well but these are very much important to keep in mind all right so for the first example i will show you how to make a messy pixel transition so i'm gonna go like right here before the second clip right here and i will cut it up by pressing ctrl shift d and now in the displacer pro i will set translate x to 36 percent translate y to minus 285 make the scale 22 percent and change the channel to saturation now this is already very cool in my opinion uh, but you can make this way cooler so what i like to do is i like to add deep glow now this is a paid plugin right here so you might not have it in deep glow you can change a lot but i don't really change anything right now and i will add signal which is actually another paid plugin that you should probably have and here you don't need to change anything and just look at this effect that you get from this it goes for a really cool transition the way i like to make this a transition is by adding an overlay from my VHS pack, which you can get from our Editing Visuals website. Now, VHS pack is an amazing pack, which comes with over 100 overlays and over 10 presets, and it has tutorials in which I show you how to make really sick VHS effects. What I like to add here is one specific overlay. So if you have the pack, just open the pack. This is my VHS pack here, and I can go to VHS Extra Overlays, and VHS Extra 19 is such a good overlay. For transitions, it works super well. So I'm gonna add it below the adjustment layer. Now, it's gonna be zoomed in so i'm gonna press s on it and i'll make it 50 and then i will right click on it go to blending mode and set it to overlay now i will go like a couple of frames back i think here and i will drag the overlay like right here all right and i will just go a couple of frames forward like when it starts the next clip just look how insane this looks right now you can very much mess around like which frame you actually want to have this on like just look how different it will look ah this looks hella cool maybe i'll keep it like this okay fine i'll keep it actually at this frame because dude that looks just insane and now i will cut this adjustment layer by pressing ctrl shift d i will delete it and this is how the overlay looks just without nothing <laughs> absolutely insane overlay and i think i will move it like two frames forward and i will cut it to one frame here and i will cut this back up to right here like here will just be nothing and then it will be this one frame and then it will end i don't even know how to call this effect but i just love it so much all right i'll, I'll stop of this and i'll show you how to make another messy pixel effect which we can actually use on this transition as well we can mix it with this transition so you can just basically take this adjustment layer that we made with this and you can just press ctrl d now let's add it below uh i don't know i'll make it like somewhere like here here when you have two messy pixel effects on top of each other this is the look you will get so also please play around with this look because it's just mind-blowing how cool this looks for this variation i will show you how to make a crt messy pixel effect so i'll go like some frames forward right about here actually all right and now the effect you will need to add is actually a free effect called grid now this is the crt effect basically and added below every single effect now make size form width and width and height sliders make the width five height four border one uh go to color make it dark and go to blending mode and make it and make it hard light and now you will have a crt messy pixel effect for this instance i actually like to lower the exposure to 0.49 but you can keep it as it was it just gives that much more of a crt look if you lower it just a bit down and for the crt version i will show you different settings that i also like to have in displacer pro so i just like to have translate x to nothing translate y to nothing and now scale 34 anchor x 47 where it's edge behavior press repeat and uh, channel u all right so this is the crt version of the messy pixel effect i really recommend just saving these as presets so all you need to do is just press on like the adjustment layer and go to one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and just create a new folder i actually have already created this messy pixels effect folder and i saved this to messy pixel effect just messy pixel and press save the same you can do with the crt one so just 
press Control A, animation, save animation preset, go to messy pixel effects, and I save this to messy pixel CRT. I will show you how to make messy pixel CRT too, and also messy pixel transition. All right, I'll show you a different messy pixel CRT. What you can do is press Control Alt Y. Uh, just cut it up to your clip. I don't know. This is not gonna be a transition, but more so this will just be something to have on your like clip or your B-roll. I like to have this on B-roll. So look at here, it's just a lamp. And what you can do is you can go here and type messy pixel CRT. If you saved it like this, I don't know what you saved it, but it has to be the CRT version. And now look, this is already crazy, but let's go to Displacer Pro. And here set scale to 78 and that's it and now we can save this to messy pixel crt2 which i really recommend to save what i like to do in b-roll shots is half half of the clip messy pixel crt like this and half of the clip i had my vhs overlay this one also so many overlays from the vhs pack just really work with this messy pixel crt if you don't have the vhs pack and you want to buy a cheaper pack you also have a color glitch pack which works very well with this messy pixel effect so really check that out if you don't want the vhs pack all right, so I'll add it here. I'll scale it down to 50% and I'll make the blending mode overlay. This is the look you will get. All right, uh, you can add way more overlays on this with the VHS pack. This is just one overlay. And now I will show you the final part of the messy pixel effect. So let's say you're starting a clip and you want to have just a tiny bit of a transition, really tiny transition. So press Control Alt Y to make a new adjustment layer. And I'll just cut it up. Cut it to like 10 frames, I guess. I don't know. You can make it shorter if you want. I don't, I don't know. And what you can do here is just add messy pixel CRT. Uh, change the scale to 98. Uh, anchor Y to 112, 1, 112, I'm sorry. And you will have this starting frame. Now we just keyframe all of these by pressing on them. Now go somewhere to the end of your adjustment layer and make the scale to 100%. Anchor X to 50, anchor Y to 50. And I, I guess I can drag it down. And this will be a really cool transition, but I also really love adding below this transition, the VHS overlay 19, the extra one. And of course, scale it down. You, you guys know the process blending mode overlay you will get this look i like to cut it not like at the ending but like right here and another really cool thing you can do is press ctrl at y again cut it to one frame once you've cut it you can add like messy pixel crt on top of it to have this crazy pixel mesh and uh, you can add like a bunch of these one frames all over the place you cannot even have it as a one frame but just have it on the whole clip as well this is just all up to your imagination this is just how i do it but you can do it differently you can also save this messy pixel transition uh, by pressing u actually and you have these keyframes right here so go to one of the effects press ctrl a now hold shift and select these keyframes i'll go to animation see animation preset and again just call it whatever you want i called it messy pixel transition and press save and that's pretty much it just really mess around with the settings if you have any questions then let us know in the comments or join our discord server where we and other people from our community can get back to you way faster also you can check out our instagram where we have other content there as well and that's about it all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya